Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Navigant Credit Union Broadcast Center. My third guest this afternoon is Mike Quill from Fear Town Haunted House. Mike, thanks so much for joining yeah, us. Thanks for having me. Good I to have to say, you guys have an amazing social media presence. <laughs> I just Try. laughed my butt off <laughs> at the Kiki Challenge video. So everybody go watch that because even if you don't go to the haunted house, just watch the video. It's worth, it's worth the watch. It's worth it. It's, it that, yeah. I, won't even, I won't spoil it for you, but watch it. It's hilarious. <laughs> so um, how does one get into owning a haunted attraction? Yeah. So I guess I'll start there. So uh, <laughs> believe it or not, ever since I was a little kid, all I wanted to do was run a haunted house. Okay, so there we go. I to be a firefighter or policeman, okay. but um, for some reason, haunted houses are my thing. So... Um, Growing up, I just tried to learn as much as I could about the industry, about the business side, everything, and um, I worked for a lot of them, and okay. then um, after college, I was able to give it a go, and nice. um, so we've run Fear Town at the Speedway for the last six years, and Okay, we're so very, we're going, this is, we're hap this is the sixth year. This is your, your sixth, yeah. Okay, and so it's kind of grown exponentially, I, yeah. I'm assuming, since yeah. then. Yeah, we started real small, and okay. um, just try and make it a little bigger and better every year. So there's more than one attraction, if I'm not mistaken, you have the actual house. Yes. But then I think there's five other things or four other things yeah. you can do. Yeah, yeah. So this year. You really want to um, get scared. <laughs> that was, yeah, that was kind of what we were looking for. So we, we have a 45 minute long haunted house, um, wow. which is really long if you're a haunted house person. Yes. Um, and that's, so that's, a, that's a long time. I think your adrenaline can, runs out after yeah. like 10 minutes. So <laughs> you must be asleep and like halfway through in your nap room. should give breaks, yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we have that, and then this year we kind of wanted to just give people, if they wanted to come and have a full night of, um, of stuff to do or related, then we can give that to them. So we well, added- fear junkies. Exactly, uh, yeah. and there are many. Um, <laughs> so we added a second, second haunted house type attraction called uh -huh. The Possession that's a little more interactive than a normal haunted house. Um, we okay. can do some things that we- Okay. Uh, you can see the face change. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> um, it's interactive, okay. Yes. So does that not mean people a, are touching you or like? Not, we do have that too. Um, what? Not, not <laughs> in our regular season. That? I don't want to meet, <laughs> I don't want to meet the people that are requesting <laughs> to be touched at Haunted House. So we have, yeah, so the, the possession is, we, there's some more interactive effects we can do okay. um, than a regular Haunted House. Um, and so then we added, we have a couple escape rooms. Uh, we have axe throwing. So if you get Feel some aggress so aggression out or prepare yeah. for the zombie apocalypse, we got you. Um, okay. You can throw some axes. Um, okay. So yeah, we're, we're kind of giving people a kind of a full full night of it. In so I, I think you know horror movies always make an appearance in October. Obviously, all the new ones come out, and obviously, if you were interested in this since a kid, you probably are a movie buff in that space. Surprisingly, I was not a okay. huge. I not like horror, horror movies, movie but fan. my horror trivia, I am horrendous at. Okay, I'm not going to ask you trivia. I don't, yeah, I don't do trivia just, on this yeah, show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, for five dollars, <laughs> no. Uh, I was going to say if you had any inspiration that you took from any movies for this particular house, or is this just things that happen in your brain, which is yeah, more scary to me? Yeah, unfortunately, um, oh, in God. a lot of our um, creative team, they'll they'll come with me and they're like, oh, it's like this from this movie, and I'm like, oh no, sorry, I just, yeah, I oh, haven't. Oh, no, um, okay. But yeah, we have a lot of our other team, um, we do take inspiration from, um, okay. from movies, but All right. we, it's, a, it's an eclectic... Uh, so what's your favorite scary movie? If you had to say. Favorite scary movie. Well, I did see The Shining recently. Okay. Recently. Recent, yeah. This is a recent that's, that's how bad of a horror movie person. Yeah. For you. It just came out right. Oh, okay. Um, so, but I'll, I'll go with that. All right. Go so for a classic. Tell us a little bit about the prep that goes into setting up this the haunted house and all the other corresponding pieces. I mean, is this something you guys started working on months ago or when, oh, when yeah. do you have yep. to start setting this up? Yeah, so it, and a lot of people don't realize so we're as soon as we um, Close for the year, we start talking about plans for next year. Okay. Um, January, we'll start building new sets. Um, wow. We do pride ourselves on totally revamping the haunted house every year, so okay. we, we build a lot of new stuff and figure out what worked, what we can keep, what we can what we can revamp, and then um, we start setting up um, on property kind of middle of middle of August. Wow. And so it's a it's a full month and a half. Um, yeah. We have a great build crew that gets it up, gets it ready to go, and, and ready for, for opening weekend. Awesome. So. so what would you say the theme is this year, if you could like assign a theme? A theme, the, so our... Besides so being afraid. <laughs> <laughs> well, so with our theme of Fear Town, um, we like to cover a lot of different themes. So anything you'll encounter in okay. a town, you can encounter here. We have a motel, um, oh. gas station, a barn, um, various different things that um, within okay. a creepy town. Okay, so it's not really may, a singular be. house, it's no. a... No, the, uh, the second one, Possession, that's um, a lot more um, theatrical and around a, a story of 
okay. um, an exorcism. So the whole thing is outside. Or yeah, well, you do go. Th you'll go through buildings. Um, we set up a lot of buildings, but it's it is an outdoor event. Yeah. Okay, and I asked you this before. Have you ever had people like run away, super scared? Oh, oh, every night. Okay. Every night. We like we want people to come and enjoy it. But do you film it? <laughs> as their videos do pop up occasionally. What's the What's the earliest you've ever had anyone run out? I mean, people they'll poke their head in the in the first room and just we've had people just book it. Why They're do, why just do they? Not why do they go? I don't, I don't understand it's, it's, that. Point. It's the adrenaline rush. <laughs> they like it. Maybe it's not quite for them. Yeah, but that's true. So <laughs> you guys opened last weekend? We opened last weekend, okay. yeah. Okay, and what are, what are your general hours? Just so um, usually we're, 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 we open at 7, um, usually 7 to 11, 7 okay. to 12, kind of later in the month. Okay, um, and it's every day? or uh, Just mostly Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Um, later in the month we do have, um, add a few days, and then we do have an... Uh, a two-night special event after Halloween. Okay. You'll, you'll have to come for this one. Oh, yes, uh, yes. It's called Extreme Fears. Oh, you'll have to pay me to yeah. come to this. Yeah. Um, where the <laughs> actors can touch you. You can be put in more extreme situations than the regular haunted house. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. And it sells out every year. Really? So okay. It's a very popular... I will let that sell out, <laughs> and I will be too late All right. for I'll the save tickets. you a ticket, I Oh, promise. good. Perfect. And so, obviously, there's a lot of competition, I think, or a good amount of competition, you know, with Spooky World and all the different hay rides. And so, what what differentiates you guys? What do you what would you say makes you different for someone that's only going to go to one this year? Why should they go yeah. to Fear Town? In 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 the in the market, we love other haunted houses, and a lot of times people go to multiple. So we like to we like to have we make a lot of friends. Okay. Around. But um, our being 45 minutes long is very unique. Um, that's our, true. Our atmosphere being out in the woods, when we say we're deep in the woods at Seekonk Speedway, we are actually deep in the woods at Seekonk Speedway. Oh it goes gosh. way back. It's a great, great, you know, kind of New England Halloween atmosphere out there. Uh. So we're, um, And how yeah. many characters do you have total? Um, on a given night, there'll be about 80 um, wow. characters And out are there. they doing their own, well, they actually are the monsters, I know, but are they doing, <laughs> are they doing their own... Is this like costume design, or is this something that's we, been thought out some, throughout the yeah, whole? Yeah, some do. We do have um, kind of a creative team that'll come up with and produce okay. costumes. We have a team of makeup artists that'll get everyone prepped ahead of time. Okay. Um, and, and some do, but we have a lot of people that work on their characters year-round, okay. and they are um, full year deep, round. Yeah, wow. full year deep round characters, scary. and they cannot wait um, for to October to, to bring them out. Oh, jeez. So wow. It's really a... It's fun if you like to be scared. I mean, I, I, I will go. I go to them. I just am not so I enjoying it. Against your will, it sounds. No, but no. <laughs> I, it's fine. So what is the kind of appropriate age that you would recommend we don't, we without don't, being a bad person? Exactly. That's kind of yeah. where we're at. We, we don't recommend for under 12. Um, OK. We've seen little kids go through with no problem, and we've had adults have to leave early You would have probably scared. gone through without so. a problem as a kid, right? I, I picked it out of some haunted houses when I was growing up. All right, so uh, <laughs> when this is all closes down after that horrible event in November, um, what, so I know you said you, you start designing, but what else, I mean, what else are you doing in your spare time until next Halloween? Yeah, I mean, there's, believe it or not, it is a, it's a full year-round process. Wow. Um, the design is very in-depth. Um, OK. Or we, again, we start building right away, and there's there's never enough time to build everything we want. So um, we're, we're hard at work trying to get okay. it all done and get as much done as we can. Um, do you believe in ghosts? <laughs> not really. All right, I had to ask. I, yeah. mean, I know that's not really. I mean, yeah, paranormal <laughs> stuff has never really tickled my fancy, but have you ever had anything weird happen, like in the haunted houses, that you think might be paranormal? Like, has that, have anybody said I mean, anything? Yeah, I mean, we'll be we'll be out there, especially leading up to opening week in the middle of the night, and. You know, you hear some sounds and stuff that's not too... In the middle of the woods? You don't really want to hear that, yeah, in the middle of the night when you're by yourself. All right. Um, so, so who for knows? people that are on the fence about going, you know, because they're scared, what, what do you say to them to get them out to Fear Town? Yeah, if you, if, you like, if you like Halloween, if you like anything of that nature, then we got you. We got added a lot of stuff um, to kind of give you a full... Full Halloween experience this year. So. Yeah, you can throw axes, I guess. Yeah, if you don't, worst if you don't case, like come anything and throw some else, axes. just throw axes. <laughs> so, where can you get tickets? Just on, online, yeah. and you can buy them there as well. Yeah. Same price, yeah. or? Um, we do. We do. Di um, the tickets are cheaper online, and we also do have time tickets to try and keep people from waiting in line. Oh, well, that's a good um, idea. That's so, nice if you can, idea. just go online at our website, fear town.com, and uh, you can pick the day and time you want to come, and then. Um, it'll really, really reduce the amount of time you have to wait. And I so. definitely recommend that you follow them on social media because 
It's very good. It can be, it can be fun. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I, I like it a lot. Well, Mike, thanks so much for coming on thanks today. A lot. We're Appreciate excited it. to have you on the show in this Halloween season. So yeah. we're trying to talk to as many Halloween things as we can and get people out of their house and get people doing things in Rhode Island and Mass. So yeah, we appreciate great. being on the show. I it. Everybody stay tuned. Our last guest is regular Jim Fortier from Blueprint 5. We're going to talk to him about winter fashion and an exciting event he's got coming up.